So I'm going to start, this is going to be four videos I think, um, and they'll follow in the little playlist. Um, I'm going to start in the first one with a bit of an introduction, um, and that introduction is going to remind you of various things about line equations. So you will find that there are two ways we often see line equations written. The first one is y equals mx plus c, where m is some number and c is some number. As a reminder, m stood for the gradient of a line, and c here stood for what we call the y-intercept. So these are hopefully reminders um, from what you have done national five and we are building that up so looking at those two bits that only really makes sense if you have a graph so here's some x axis that's the x axis that's the y axis and we are talking about some line equation which crosses the graph and i'm just going to draw that in pencil so it looks a bit different so here is a line equation. That line equation's y-intercept is there. So that would be its value of c. So if that's a cross to three on the y-axis, we'd have some equation that had plus three on the end. And then how steep it is, maybe for every one box you go along, you go up by two boxes. That's what the gradient means. So maybe it has a gradient of two. So you'd have an equation y equals two x plus three. Another reminder, we could have a second line. We might come down somewhere like that. Our y-axis intercept or our y-intercept is down here. Um, let's say that crosses at minus four. So we're gonna have a minus four in our equation, some sort of gradient, let's call it minus a half. Now, how did I know it was a minus gradient? I knew it was a minus gradient because it's a downhill graph. These should be reminders from National 5. So if these are things that are unfamiliar to you, you may want to go back and just look in your daughter from National 5, remind yourself of some of the content that was covered. But a couple of key reminders. This is our gradient. So this line has a gradient of 2, a y-intercept of 3. Now, technically, I should write that as a coordinate. So that's actually the point zero along the x-axis, three up y. So the point zero three and gradient equals two. Okay, so those were our key features of information. Positive gradient means it's a that way graph. A negative gradient like we had here is going downhill from left to right. And we again have our gradient being minus a half our y-intercept being the point, minus four, uh, sorry, zero, minus four. Okay, so we've got various bits of information. These are all useful things that you should have previously met. Now, what we're gonna to meet today, as we go through the lesson, is the fact that there's actually a second way to write lines. This is really, really handy because you've got your gradient and your y-intercept. But it's also not uncommon to see a line written in the form ay bx plus. Now you could use that c, or sometimes you'll see d equals zero. The reason we don't often use c there is it sometimes gets confused with this c. So I prefer to write a d there at the moment. So we sometimes get lines in that form. One of the key things here often is that we want a, b, and c to be whole numbers. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but it's just a nice, it's a very tidy form for a line. You will often get them in that form. So we've really got two forms, you'll find lines. This one, which is very, well, hopefully fairly familiar from National 5, this one, which is a bit more new. So we're gonna do some examples, and our key skill is gonna be turning lines that look like this, into lines that look like this. So it's a bit of an introduction to what we're doing uh, and how we're going to do some examples. So this is a bit that I think you'll be following along really closely with and this is what we're going to focus in on today. So here we've got question find the gradient and the y-intercept of the line 4y plus 3x minus 2 equals 0. So it's in that um, ay plus bx plus 
B, D0 is a negative number, but that's fine. And we want the gradient and the y-intercept. Now we can't find those when it's in that form. We can only find them when it's in the form y equals mx plus c. So we need to put it in that form first. Now that means we need to rearrange this. So I'm just going to rewrite that equation again. So there's our equation. Well, we want this term and this term over on this side. Now, some of you might do that all in one step. I'm going to do it in two steps. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two to both sides. So 4y plus 3x equals 2. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 3x away because I don't want this. So I'll get 4y equals... Now, usually our x term comes first. So we're just going to write it as minus 3x plus 2. There's no harm done if you write it as 2 minus 3x. It's just that this is a more normal line equation way to write it. 4 times y there. So the opposite times by 4 is to divide by 4. So we end up with y equals. Now I want each of these terms separately. So I'm going to write minus 3 over 4x. And that's absolutely fine. Acceptable to leave it as a fraction. Plus 2 over 4 be a bit tidier and it's good as practice in the exam you don't lose marks if you do this. Oh, sorry you'd lose marks if you don't do this and that is to simplify that to a half so we have y equals minus three equals x plus a half we're not quite finished we were asked for the gradient and the y intercept so here gradient equals well, our gradients that bit in front of x so it's minus three quarters our y-intercept, now this is important, I want you to give that as a coordinate. Our y-intercept is the point, well that's how far up the y-axis we are, we're going nowhere in the x-direction. So zero and a half, so we're reading it off from our y-intercept there. So, I would like you to have a turn, have a go at this, and I will run you through the example in the next, this, this example here in the next video and then introduce you to something else new.